Singapore is moving to deepen ties with its closest neighbors, including Malaysia. But just as with any friendship, problems will arise from time to time. That's according to Foreign Affairs Minister Vivian Balakrishnan. Now, as an example, he cited the issue of Pedra Branca, an island east of Singapore that the country is conducting improvement works on. Now, Malaysia has objected to those works. Alif Amshah with this report. <laughs> The current Malaysian Prime Minister is described as an old friend of Singapore and that lasting relationship is taking on fresh impetus. Mr Anwar Ibrahim's introductory visit to Singapore last month saw three deals signed covering areas like the digital and green economy. These signal our commitment to work on new and emerging areas of mutual interest. The Malaysian leader is set to return to Singapore for a leader's retreat later this year. For now, though, both governments continue discussions on Pedra Branca, which is in the spotlight again. In 2008, the International Court of Justice ruled that the island belongs to Singapore. The state then began developing it to improve safety and search and rescue capabilities, as well as to protect it against rising sea levels. These, Dr Balakrishnan said, are in line with international law. But Malaysia raised concerns, and the works were suspended in May last year in the spirit of mutual cooperation and good faith. In December 2022, Singapore put forward proposals to Malaysia to resolve the issue and to move forward with the work. Subsequently, we agreed to Malaysia's request for more time for them to consider our clarifications and proposals. Presently, the development work remains paused due to the monsoon season. We will manage our differences constructively and pragmatically and not allow any single issue to overshadow the entire relationship. Opposition leader Pritam Singh later asked when works would resume. So when can we be expected to recomm recommence works precisely because uh, the works are for the purposes of protecting against sea level rise and, and climate change. We will proceed in due course, but let's us continue this discussion with Malaysia for the time being. Uh, there is a deadline, but I do not want to make a public pronouncement yet. Turning to Indonesia, Dr Balakrishnan said Singapore is looking forward to welcoming President Joko Widodo for the next leaders' retreat. He said three recent landmark agreements that involve airspace management, defence training and extradition would bring tangible benefits for both countries. Second Foreign Affairs Minister Maliki Osman said both plan to step up cooperation, including in the agri-food, energy and tech sectors. We have stepped up cooperation especially with Batam and Bintan. This includes establishing new data centres and efforts to develop tech talent which could support the rapidly growing tech sectors in both Singapore and Indonesia. There are new growth areas. For example, Indonesia com Indonesian companies are keen to boost exports to Singapore in the agri-food and energy sectors, which aligns with Singapore's efforts to strengthen domestic food supply. Singapore's leaders described ties with Brunei as special, unique and close. Last August, both countries signed four agreements to boost partnerships in new areas. These include the green economy, as well as trade and investment in food and medical products.